everybody um i know i keep saying update but here's another one so being in kentucky has been a great experience it um honestly i hope to be here a little bit longer but um not being independently wealthy as i am work is tough around here and a good friend of mine says, ah, what you could do, you could work anywhere, which is probably true. But to get myself reestablished in business here, it's, you know, it takes time. So I've been applying for jobs, like kinds of jobs I never thought I'd apply for. But that's fine. I don't mind. I don't need much. Um, it, it's, it's hard and I've had people ask me questions about what's it, you know, what's it like here and where I'm at in Edmonton is very, very slow, which is nice. Um, it's a beautiful country, really no industry at all. There's a lot of, um, warehouse work, that type of thing. Um, which is fine if you don't need much, uh, but there's so much more out there. So. Uh, I'm going to be moving on soon, and I'm not sure when. I have um, a few things in the works. Um, I'll definitely be back to Jersey at some point to do some work. But um, I'm going to see how Florida goes for a little bit. And a um, little job down there maybe leads to some other things. There's a couple connections that um, some job offers I've had. So see how it goes uh yeah so exciting it's fun and uh you know i i, I to be honest i i don't know what people think or might think these adventures that i'm going to be on and i'm having were not necessarily part of my life plan as a single person so it's different than i thought it would be although it has always been my desire to travel to see things but being a carpenter it, it's tough you know it's not a um it's not a job that i can work online and uh, travel around so the places that i go i have to have work scheduled lined up make sure you know i can get there and get out of there get back from there um so that's part of the challenge you know, as plans change, which they did drastically for me earlier this year. Um, rolling with the punches, not rolling in the dough. So, <laughs> you know, those are part of the factors. And um, I don't know, try to make it as fun as I can, as you know, for as long as I can until I find the place where I want to settle, which I'm pretty sure I know where that is. But again, the areas that I like, there's not a lot. Um, cause I do like the country. I do like nature, like being in it, but you know, you got to pay bills too. So got to find that balance of where it's at. And, um, Jersey always has so much to offer. It's got, uh, everything you could want. It's never been my favorite place in the world, but you know, when you get away from it, there's certain things you miss. You miss the food. Um, you miss the family, the, the close friends you develop the support system really and um it's nice though as i travel around i ended up out here in kentucky with uh with a nice support system and it's not that i've done this alone a friend um like i said earlier bought a farm a couple years ago covid blah 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 everything happens so it was a nice opportunity to come down and experience this to be able to give her a hand getting some things settled before i head back out again um again i thought I'd be here longer. Maybe I will be, but, um, you know, again, work is definitely a factor. So, um, it has been tough, but to drive an hour to be a cashier at Home Depot is not really, uh, economically viable for me. So that's really the kind of stuff that's been ending up, uh, the kind of work that there is. And I, I, it's not that I'm opposed to it. Hey, if it was 15, 20 minutes down the road, that's probably all I need, you know, to, to stay here, to enjoy it. But then I also don't get to create the cool things that I like to create with my work. And, um, as I'm longer out from doing that type of stuff, you know, you, 
you miss it. So anyway, we'll see how it goes. I will actually post this when I know better about Florida. All right, y'all. Thank you. Bye.